just arrived is this bag of crystals, 80 of them for just a few dollars. Significant is the frequency, 10.111 MHz. That's comfortably in the CW portion of 30 meters. To give the crystals a test, I'll once again use this crystal oscillator circuit. The main variation is I'll make the circuit into a variable crystal oscillator. That just means lifting the ground connection of the crystal and putting in series a variable capacitor and if you want extended range, an inductor as well. Even further tuning range is possible if I connect another crystal in parallel. And at only a few cents each, that's hardly going to blow the budget. One thing about these crystals is their can size. Instead of being about 12 millimeters long, these are only about three or four millimeters long. That means the crystal element must be very small. A worry I have about that is that the pulling range may not be very much. Let's apply some power and see what range we can achieve. We'll start off with a series inductor of 2.2 microhenry. Our highest frequency is 10.114. Our lowest frequency is 10.110. Without any special optimization, we've already achieved about 4 kHz swing. That's with a variable capacitor that goes up to a maximum of about 300 picofarads. Another test is we'll connect and disconnect power. Despite keying the oscillator, which is not considered good construction practice, the keying is perfect. Just before I add more inductance to increase the frequency pulling range, I'll disconnect one of the crystals. With only one crystal in circuit, the range is down to a little over 2 kHz. Now some more inductance, 4.7 plus 2.2 microhenry, 10.108 to 10.113, 5 kHz swing. Even more inductance, 4.7 plus 10 microhenry. The highest is 10.111 and the lowest is 10.104. Now with even more, 10 microhenry, 6.8 microhenry, 4.7 microhenry. A dramatic change. It is now going a lot lower, in fact below where the amateur band starts. We've established we can pull the crystals down below 10.1 megahertz. What about further up? As you can see where my finger is pointing, the two gangs of this variable capacitor are connected in parallel. That's good for low end frequency coverage, but if you want high end frequency coverage, you need to remove them to reduce the minimum capacitance of this variable capacitor. The other thing I'll do is remove these inductors entirely. The maximum frequency is 10.116. So we've been able to cover the bottom 16 kilohertz of the 30 meter band with these two cheap Chinese eBay crystals. All it requires is a one transistor oscillator circuit and a variable capacitor with a selection of inductors. A bonus was the good frequency stability, even with no voltage regulation and keying of the oscillator. If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out my eBooks. Visit my website vk3ye.com and follow the links or search their titles in Amazon. You can also like the VK3YE Radio Books page on Facebook.